Parashas Bamidbar, it says, Bamidbar Gimel, it's a Pasuk Yudalit, it says, um, Hashem spoke to Meshur Rabbeinu in Midbar Sinai, and Hashem said, the code is B'nai Levi, L'beis HaMaisam, yeah, number, can't take it, take us, take a tally of the B'nai Levi. Um, Kol Zoha mi ben Chodesh from the little, little, little children, from one month old and upward, to take account. So the Pasuk says, By Yifkait Aisa Moshe al Hashem. Moshe took account. As he was commanded, he did what he, he did the right thing. Hashem commanded him that he should take the count, and he took the count um, of kashet tuva as he was commanded. But the pasuk says, Moshe al pi Hashem." According to the word of Hashem, Moshe numbered, um, took the number according to the word of Hashem, as he was commanded, as, as he was commanded. What does that mean? So Rashi comes along, and Rashi says, al pi Hashem, it was according to the word of the Hashem, al ma Moshe l'fnei HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Kodesh Baruch Hu said to Moshe, you take a tally. Chazal brings down, Rashi brings down Chazal, al pi Hashem, al ma Moshe l'fnei HaKadosh Baruch Hu. How could I do it? How could I do it? How could I go into their tents and say, Hey, you take a tally. How could I go into their tents to learn the number of their little children? Um, which means, the Rashi Mephorish explains clearer, that it's pastnished. It's not nice. Uh, little children running around in their diapers. And Moshe Rabbein has to go in and take account of all oh, oh, it's not Moshe Rabbeinu with all his kedusha and everything. Is it's it's not it's not it's not it's not for him. So he asked Rabbi Shlom, "How can I do it?" Amalei Kodesh Baruch Hu, Kodesh Baruch Hu said, um, Kodesh Baruch Hu said, uh, "You do yours, and I'll do mine." Moshe Rabbeinu went and stood at the door of the tent. Ashkina Magdemes Lefonav. The Shechina went in first. Ubaskoel Yoytze Smino Eel, a divine voice from Hashem, from heaven, went forth from the tent for Imeris and said, Kach or Kach Tinokos, Yeish Bo Eel. Zeh. The Kach Nemar Al Pi Hashem. What does it mean, Al Pi Hashem? It means that Moshe Rabbeinu felt that he can't do it. Even though Hashem told him to do it, Hashem, Hashem said, Go take account. Moshe Rabbeinu said to Hashem, how can I? It's pastlish, it's not nice. It's not nice for me to go in and count all the little children. Um, so Moshe Rabbeinu stood outside, and HaKadosh Baruch Hu, um, HaKadosh Baruch Hu uh, took the count and told Moshe Rabbeinu how many kach kach tinok is yesh ba'ayel is there. Therefore it says, I'll be Hashem. The question is, how could the traders say that Moshe Rabbeinu count took the tally, Kashet uh, as he was commanded. As he was commanded, and, and really, it's uh, Moshe Rabbeinu took the, the tally uh, as he was commanded. He was commanded to do it. Al pi Hashem, Al pi Hashem means that um, Al pi Hashem means that um, that he did what he was supposed to do exactly. But that's not what that's not what he was supposed to do. He was supposed to take the count. Lamais is, he said he's he passed this for him, it's not nice for him to do. So Hashem took the count. So what does the term mean, Kashet Suvo, as he was commanded? Comes along, Reb Chaim Shimonavich, and tells us a tremendous thing. That if Moshe Rabbeinu felt that he couldn't do it, then the tzivui of Hashem had to mean something else. Even though Hashem said, you do it, but it, it can't be that Hashem would ask Moshe Rabbeinu to do something which is not appropriate. 
It's not appropriate. It's not nice for Moshe Rabbeinu to go in and take account of all the little children with their diapers, right? So it must be, it must be that 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 Hashem means something else, and it's still kashet zuro. It's still as Hashem commanded, because if it's not proper, it's not the derech Hashem couldn't have meant like the simple tzivui, like the like the simple commandment that Hashem was. It, it couldn't be simply as as it was said by Hashem. It, uh, if it's inappropriate, if it's not their cheretz, if it's not the right thing, then then even though Moshe Rabbeinu actually didn't take the count, Hashem took the count. But nevertheless, it's still kashet suvo. Moshe Rabbeinu did as he was commanded because because it's inappropriate, and Hashem would not ask him to do something inappropriate. This is what it says in Perkei Avis, Emein derech eretz, Emein derech eretz ain't Torah. If something is not ethical and not nice and not appropriate, that's not the derech Torah. So what we have to learn from here is that we can learn Torah and learn Torah and learn Torah, but if it's not in a manner of derech eretz, then it really is not the Derech HaTorah. Meshul Rabbeinu understood that, and he changed it, and it was still Kashat Tzuvah. I only want to add a little question to this. The question is, by Akedas Yitzchak, this is a side little question, by Akedas Yitzchak, Hashem told um, Abraham Avinu to go slaughter Yitzchak. To go slaughter Yitzchak. Now, if, according to Reb Chaim Shulevi, that if it's not appropriate, it's not, it, it's not, it has, it has to be changed, and it's still kashet sufo. So, when, when, when the Rebbe Rishlam told Abraham Avila to go shecht, the Halel Oila, to bring, um, to bring um, uh, Yitzchak Avinu on the, on the, on the, on the Mizbeach, as an Oila, why didn't Abraham Avila say, look, Hashem told me to telling me to kill him, to kill my son. That's not the Terech There must be some other meaning. Why don't we use the same logic over there? This will be a little question.